Hey y'all, welcome back, welcome back. It is me, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Whose Line Is It Anyway? Arctic Turn. Let's see what happens. Hey, Carl. Yeah, Ryan. Here's a little riddle for you. All right. What kind of bird always says the name of our next band? Oh, I guess, uh, turn? <laughs> an Arctic turn? <laughs> and what sound does an Arctic turn make? Boys. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> to say I'm confused is an understatement. Okay. Arctic turn. Is that a real bird? A turn? Because it's not spelled T-U-R-N like turn right. It's spelled T-E-R-N. Is that a real bird? Why don't I just Google while I have you here? Arctic turn. Uh, and did he say Backstreet Boys? I wish this clip had the like game rules how, oh, it is. It's a bird. Okay. Arctic turn is a turn in the family Laridae. This bird has a, oh, the words in this description are insanely big. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to try. Uh, I wish that Drew had, like the clip was long enough for me to see Drew's explanation of the game. So I will have to figure it out with context clues. So far, I'm confusion. <laughs> Everyone else is ridiculous. Tell us what's right. I was, I was thinking an owl. Oh, who? The who is our next band on this series? Who? The who. Okay. And of course, when you think of the who, you think of their number one tune. Miss Kitty left me, so I'm sleeping with my horse. Is the who a real band, you guys? <laughs> is this a band I don't know about? Have I reacted to the who at this point? Lord help me. Um, okay, so they are the host of some type of show. Ryan asked Colin if he could tell him a riddle. He asked him what kind of bird is something with the name. Let me go back. <laughs> Maybe I'll understand now that I've gotten some more. We're gonna we're gonna go back to the beginning, kids. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Here's a little riddle for you. All right. What kind of bird always says the name of our next band? Okay. Oh, I guess, uh, turn? <laughs> an arctic turn? <laughs> and what sound does an arctic turn make? Backstreet Boys? <laughs> he really just said Backstreet Boys. And I don't, maybe something funny happened in the episode. Why did he say arctic turn? He said turn. Isn't there a group called turn? I feel like I've reacted to a group called turn. Anyway, okay, I understand a little bit more. Let's keep going. <laughs> they are inconsolable over that one. Backstreet Boys? <laughs> Wayne is on the ground. Get an owl. Oh, who? The who is our next band on this series? <laughs> and of course, when you think of the who, you think of their number one tune. Miss Kitty left me, so I'm sleeping with my horse. this is good okay my question is is the band also improving these melodies or does the band like pre-rehearse the melody and then the actors just have to sing along my second question is if there is a real band named who do they sound like them 
Is this how who performs? Like with a big giant guitar and an echo? But the song actually like is good. I'm in the danger zone. Look at me, I'm in the danger zone. She just separated one to four. See you later. I'm gone. Miss Kitty left me. I'm alone with my heart. Bye bye, Kitty. Miss Kitty left me with my heart. Bye bye, Miss Kitty. See you later. What am I gonna do? Record. That was so good. That was really good. I love that it. it's an all-female band. I think the pianist is always the same lady. I don't know if they always have the keyboard and the guitar, but I love that it. it's like four men and then the women. I think that's, it's just good, like casting in, in TV, uh, like thinking through. I think that the, the show definitely needs some estrogen. And so the fact that they bought it in with the music team was just a smart, uh, whoever thought of that idea was smart. Because these men are, they're like rowdy boys. You know how like when it's just a group of boys, you're like, there's too much testosterone. Like it feels like that. Like just a rowdy bunch of boy children. <laughs> man childs, if you will. Um, so yeah. That song was really impressive. The way they were able to like pull those lyrics out like that. That was super impressive. This is just top tier when it comes to comedy and, and, and improv. Like, this is really the pinnacle of it, you know? Well, you might think that's the... Oh, he's really with the piano. Hey, Carl. Yeah, Ron, hey, is Paul. that all the songs we have on this CD set? Uh, if it was, it'd be a pretty short CD set. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I now think I'm understanding more. So back in the day, kids, come sit down, children. If you're, if you're new, if you're newer, then, uh... Let's say 19, or if you're, yeah, newer than, if you were born after 19, maybe 2000, you might not know this, but they used to have, they used to sell CD, like, right? Like they used to sell these like CDs. They were either like, yeah, they were like compilations of music on TV and they would kind of run down the song. So I feel like that's what this is. Is that what this is? They're trying to sell us a compact disc set if you will i did a terrible job of explaining that but if you know you know all right hey nah. what sound does a blackbird make where are we going with this i have no idea where are we going with this yeah i have no idea yeah So is that the way they have to sing it, opera? And we have a great opera song on this CD. Really, a great opera song. Yeah, and you know what? It's actually sort of different because it's them warming up to do the song. No. It's on a CD, so they can't hear us right now. Oh, right. But anyway, they're warming up to sing that great song, Two Asses in a One Horse Town. y'all gargling is one of those things you have to like think about i'm crying you have to think about before you do it like you have to like really like okay engage my throat muscles like you really have to, i i agree with wayne on this like you can't just gargle <laughs> but the fact that he tried and he choked <laughs> this show is the greatest thing on the planet <laughs> okay so is it 
is it Colin's job to say that, see, this is why I feel like the band is also, I am a wreck. The band is also having to like come up with melodies on the spot, which bands, you know, if they're, if they're seasoned and practice together, it's not hard for them. They kind of let the pianist set the tone and then they follow in. I've learned that from church. The piano will start and then everyone will just join in. But it seems like Colin comes up with the genre or style of singing and like when he does the like what kind what the bird sound I guess because he said opera and then before he said Backstreet Boys but the who didn't sound like the Backstreet Boys I'm, I don't know maybe I'm wrong this is crazy okay all right let's go it's so <laughs> Oh, Wayne. That was fantastic. That was fantastic. That was like the audience is losing it. That was so good. Oh my gosh, that was fantastic. <laughs> and then of course, Wayne being Wayne Brady with the great voice that he has ended it with actual opera notes that was so funny oh, gargling is hard I don't care I don't care I don't care it's hard like I don't know what y'all do with your throats but it's hard <laughs> I gotta go I gotta go have the day you just